Welcome to another edition of IMO Sports with Pedro Justice. Shelly Finkel looked at Eddie Hearn's offer or alleged offer and said, no, we don't like that. Now, we don't know for sure if that was all of the details in the actual offer. We just know that it's a possibility and that a flat rate fee was offered about 12.5 million. No way anyone would accept that. The only people who think that are people who feel that Deontay Wilder shouldn't get more than $2 million and 12.5 is more than he's made in his whole career. To those people, you don't understand the business of boxing. It's not about that. It's about the event that's going to take place. If there's an opportunity to generate 60 to $80 million, you're going to want percentage. Forget flat rate. Flat rate means you got what you got and that's it. That doesn't work. I want a percentage. If Joseph Parker can get 33% of the gate and of pay-per-view, then Deontay Wilder definitely deserves that. He definitely does. If you don't think that a fight between Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder is going to be bigger than the Klitschko fight, you've been hiding under a rock. It doesn't matter necessarily that Anthony Joshua is not the biggest name in the U.S., Deontay Wilder is not the biggest name in the UK. What matters is these are two heavyweights. And in US, when you have two heavyweights, people will watch the fight because it's a mega fight. Two undefeated, tall, um, accomplished heavyweights ready to do battle with knockout records. Guess what? They're going to want to watch that. And if they can't go over to the UK for the first fight, guess what they're going to do? They're going to order it on pay-per-view. And at minimum, that's at least $59.99 on pay-per-view. It's going to be big in the US. Then they're going to replay on Showtime. That's a lot of money. So it doesn't matter if Deontay Wilder has not been on US pay-per-view. Neither has Anthony Joshua. And Anthony Joshua's following in US is not that big. That doesn't matter. The U.S. is about big events. And when people hear there's a big event, they want to be in the know. So then they're going to listen and do the promotion for this. ESPN will jump on board because it's a big deal. And then the promotion starts. This fight is going to be monstrous, especially on pay-per-view. Then you can fill up your stadiums over there, which in comparison, a 13,000 seat stadium by Mayweather standards in his fights can generate as much as a Klitschko fight with Anthony Joshua. That sounds absurd, but that's if you look and do your research for the numbers, that happened. So let's stop all this nonsense about three belts to one when Anthony Joshua fought Tackham, two belts to zero belts. When he fought Joseph Parker, two belts to one belt. He beat Joseph Parker. Now he has three belts. Great for him. Well, uh, Deontay Wilder didn't unify. In order to unify, you have to have the other person agree to fight you. If I challenge someone in a different sectioning body, they don't have to accept my challenge. And their excuses are he's high, high risk, low reward. Or we're not ready for that right now. Those are just excuses. They didn't want to fight him. And we know that. And now look how hard we're having to just two mega fight, two mega competitors in a mega fight. And look how hard it is. Right now, people, we're just in negotiations. And we're allowed to talk during negotiations because that's what we do. <laughs> so don't tell us we can't talk about this. We know it's speculation, but there's some meat on the details that are coming out. And we're just talking about it, talking through as fans, as commentators, as enthusiasts of the sport of boxing, we're excited about what's going to happen. So let's relax and stop all the putting down the other side and let's hope that these two sides can meet. And the counter offer from Shelly Finkel's side of it should be great. Shelly Finkel said, and I quote, I think the world will look at the counter offer and say, if he, Joshua, wants the fight, this should happen. So either today or tomorrow, Shelly Finkel is going to give a counter offer to Eddie Hearn and this fight should be done within the next two weeks. Let me know what you think. Until next time, it's Pedro Justice.